how to make a news website in Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create or make a news website into your Google website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that I need you to do is to head over sites.google.com. Then you need to create a blank website. This is the first step to do. So right there, you are going to set the heading. And also you can add a logo into your, uh, or the brand logo into your uh, Google site right there. You can go ahead and select, for example, for the images, I'm going to set uh, any of these images. You can go ahead and select whatever you want. For example, let's say that this is a logo. Go ahead and set the brand image. And here we have it. Now I'm going to set the heading title to your uh, favorite favorite like this uh, news website like that. And then for the color of this, you can go ahead and set the uh, like this one or that or diplomat. This is uh, like this. Also, this looks uh, very cool. For the header type, you can set a cover, a large banner, a banner, or a title only. Go ahead and use whatever suits you well. So for the image, you can select any of these images. And also, you can create your own image and set it right there. So in my case, I will choose one of these random images on Google. So let's go ahead and use something like maybe this one. I'm going to uh, uh, wait. This is, it's okay to get this, um, this image. Uh, so we need right there to go ahead and embed a code or also a feed. How to create that feed? We need a news feed because we, you cannot set your uh, news manually from here. It will be very tiring and also very uh, annoying. So we are going to set the site name, Jack's news for example like this one and here we have it now we're going to click on pages and within that page we're going to click on this one click on plus and then we are going simply to set something like a full page embed now all we have to do is to visit a website or a platform called rss.app this rss.app is very useful on creating the news. So how we can see the news or the feeds is going ahead to Google, for example, and we're going to seek for a new site, for example, BBC like that news. And then we are going to visit with the website of BBC. All we have to do right there is to get that website right here. Copy that link for this. So we are going back to the rss.app and we are going to create our new feed. Click on create and we are going to set the title. So you can set the BBC news and click on generate. Now it will generate the feed and then you can see all of the, as you can see right there, uh, the news, the feeds, you can set the overview, you can set the widgets and you can set the filters also. For example, for the widgets, we have a news wall, a list, a carousel, and etc. So all we need to do right there is to get the overview, for example, and then we are going to save the feed. And now we need to integrate that feed into our website. How we can do that, it is very easy. When you set everything, the feed is ready and generated, you're going to the widgets. Within the widgets, you are going to click on add to website and here it will give you the JavaScript code. So all we need to do is to copy that code right there and go back to our Google site. Now we are going to set a name for that page. So we are going to set it news like that feed news or global global news like that global global news. And here we have it. So we are going to click on done and here we have the full embed page. So we are going to click on add embed and then by URL or by embed code. 
Logically, you are going to set an embed code because this is a JavaScript code. Go ahead and click on Next, and you will see right there the preview of that website. Click on Insert, and as you can see, the news is right here. You can go ahead right here on the RSS.app and set, for example, a list or a carousel and etc. This is the news wall. So I'm going to add another carousel or a image board like this. This is more uh, maybe a P link or the sticker, the magazine, for example, or that feed. So I'm going to add a magazine. So how we can do that, select it, click on add a website, copy it, and then go back to your Google site. Now we are going to see the embed and you can go ahead and set it for a separate page or you can add it to the same page. For example, I'm going to insert. And here we have the same one from here. You can see that this is it. And these events or these uh, news will be tracked and also uh, refreshed every here and there. For example, if BBC News will refresh that page, it will be refreshed also in your right there in your website. Now, let's go ahead and create something else from another website. Now I have created from BBC. I'm going to add another feed. So we are going to use maybe not BBC, but Fox, for example, Fox News. And then we're going to visit foxnews.com. All we have to do right there is to copy the link. And then we are going to the rss.app, get the Fox News, click on generate and wait for a few seconds. This very cool app or this platform is very, very uh, right here a necessary for you to generate these feeds. So the first thing before clicking on widgets, because here you can add it to the website, you're going to save the feed first. You can get that link and then you go to the widgets. And as you can see, the add to website is free now. Go ahead and select the, for example, ticker image board or carousel like this and then we're going to set it like this for example a feed i'm going to add it as a feed click on add copy that link and now we are going to the pages so we have set the first one which is global news i'm going to add another full page embed i'm going to set it for example uh, diverse news and then we're going to click on OK. Here we have the option to add embed. You're going to choose embed code. Paste that code right there. And here we have it. So click on insert. And now we have it right there. So when you finish everything, you're going to click on publish. Set your website address and publish it. We'll let you see right there how we can manage these pages. As you can see, the home page is the first page that will appear. So if you want to set the global news, you're going to click on the three dots. Click on make home page. And here we have the home page is the global news. We are going to publish all of these settings. And now we are going to visit our website. Click on right there, view website or published website. And as you can see, we have the global news pop in. And we have every single news on BBC. And also for the diverse news, we're going to see here the feed of Fox News. You can use this method for every single piece or website that provide news. For example, we have right there, uh, I'm going to set, for example, uh, BBC. Here we have, uh, we've had BBC before. So we are going back and set news on Google website. And we are going to see here we have also the NBC. So we are going to see the CNN. Maybe I'm going to use the CNN. Here we have the copy. So we are going back right there to the feed on RSS and add another feed. Simply do the same thing, generate and boom. In just a click of a button, which is generate, you're going to get your feed ready. Here we have it. So don't forget to save the box. Now go to the widgets. Set, for example, image board. This is uh, the one that we haven't or we didn't do before. Click on add to website and click on it. Now back to the website, create a new page. 
I'm going to delete that page because th this was a mistake. Also, this one, it was also another mistake. So I'm going to select only the full page embed. News. News like that. I click on done. Embed. Code. Here, boom, insert. And here we have it. Now for the pages, you can go ahead and modify the placement of each one of them. Like this one, we can make it like this, a sub page or something like that. So we're going to set these. We're going to set them uh, right there. And here we have it. Don't forget to publish. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.